Hey G Squad, welcome back to another episode of Is In Warping. So today's episode, we got this cool amazement right here. And basically what this is, is a portable steam sauna. And for the one that we got right here, is from this band right here. So first thing first, I'm actually open the product to show you guys what it actually looks like inside first before I set it up. Alright, so when you guys first open up, there's definitely a lot of stuff inside right here. Let me actually bring this over to somewhere else to show you guys a better view of the product in terms of unboxing it and setting it up. And then we'll come back and talk more product in a second. All right, so right here, the package. Let me actually open up to show you guys what is actually included inside. They so definitely provide you guys a lot of these poles or sticks right here to actually hold up the actual product. So you can see right here, we have some more as well. And right here, they provide you guys the actual bag with the product inside, which you guys basically want to use the pole that's set up. Inside, they provide you guys a little chair that you use to sit inside when you guys are actually using it. And right here, we do have the actual steam generator. And right here, they provide you guys with a mat that you probably want to put on the floor when you guys set it up. And right here, they do probably say use a manual to teach you guys how to install the product. And that is basically everything that's included in the package right here. So first thing, I'm actually set up the chair to show you guys how to actually set up. You basically just want to open it like this. And it's all set. So you basically can sit on top of right here when you guys are actually using it. If you can see if I actually sit on the chair right here, it definitely has a good support. So when you guys are sitting inside, you can definitely use the sun option. And next up right here, let's take out the steam generator. All right, so once we take it out, this is actually looks right here. So we definitely have all the buttons on here and on and off, temperature, fogging, timer. And right here, we do have the display screen. And when you guys open up, that is basically what the inside looks like. So they basically provide guys a cable right here. They provide guys a remote control. And they also provide guys an accessory as well, which will figure out how to use it. And then that is basically what the inside looks like. So you definitely want to make sure you rinse it before you guys actually use it. And then definitely for the product, it does give you guys an option with a little handle right here, if you guys want to carry around really easily. And then for the back part right here, it's basically where you guys want to plug in the cable to actually charge it up or activate it. And then this is basically what the bottom part looks like. Now let's set up the product to show you guys how to actually set it up first. So I want to take this out. You want to open this up. You can see the product right here is actually very big and very spacious. So first thing I'm going to do is open up this little bag right here. So you can set up the tube inside. And you also need the bead tube as well. So there's an insert right here. And the other side right here. And you basically want to insert it inside. So let's start the bottom one first. So you basically want to open this part right here. And you guys want to stick it in. Just like this. Make sure it goes all the way in. And once you guys do that, you have to seal it back up. Now you're done with that part. You basically want to repeat the same stuff for other parts as well. So let's do the one in the back. Alright, close this up. Bring it back up. And now you're going to do the middle part and also the top part as well. But you basically want to do the top one first because this one should be last. Alright, so once you guys set that up, you can basically put the mat inside. So here is the mat. You basically want to put it onto the floor. Alright, so once you guys put it in, you can basically start setting up the steamer option. So you basically want to get one of the tubes that they provide for you guys inside and just stick it inside right here. You can see there's a white part inside that you want to stick. Once you guys put that inside, you basically want to get the white accessory, which is this one right here, and put it inside. Because this is basically what's going to create the steam inside. So just put it inside right here, just connect it together. You basically don't want to leave that on the floor. Where for the other side right here, you're going to stick the other one right here into this part right here and this side right here will go to this side right here so just like that and then once you guys add the water inside and plug in cable you can definitely start producing the steam inside and then for the chair you basically want to put it inside as well so that way you can sit inside when you guys are using it and then for the last part right here you basically want to insert it in right here once you guys zip it up All right, so once you guys fully set it up, this is actually looks right here. And if you guys notice on these two sides right here, they do have a zipper option. And that is basically for you guys to put your hand outside when you guys want to insert the bar in. Anyway, if you're done, you guys can close it back up or you can leave it open. And right here, they provide you guys a little compartment if you guys want to put stuff inside right here, like your phone or whatever, or even like the remote. And obviously, for the top right here is where you guys want to put your head. But you can see once you guys fully set up product, this actually looks right here. And definitely one thing to remember is that when you guys use the product here, you don't want to use it anywhere near like a smoke detector or smoke alarm. Because when you guys actually use the product, there's going to be a lot of steam. So you probably want to use somewhere where there's like a restroom or something. But this is basically what the product looks like when you guys actually set it up. Let me actually hop in to show you guys what it actually looks like. Alright, so I close it up. Use the zipper compartment right here. You guys can do the zipper option right here. 
And the good thing for all these zippers right here is the fact that they do have a zipper inside and outside. So that will actually allow you guys to unzip it from the inside as well. You can see. So once you guys set up right here, you're gonna lock it back up. Close up the zipper right here. And they also have this option on top to actually seal it up as well. And once you guys do that, you guys can zip this part as well. And then basically once you guys are done, this is actually right here. So you see the whole setup process and everything didn't take that long. Let me bring this over to a different room to show you guys what the product looks like. So we can't really use it right here since there is like a smoke detector. All right, so the first thing we want to do is to fill out the water inside right here first. All right, so we got the product all set right here. I had to put it in the rest room because this is the only place where I can put it where it actually has an air vent option. So that way it can actually absorb the steam. So let's turn it on. So basically I want to use the remote right here. All right, so we got it on. So you definitely have the option to increase or lower the temperature on here. So the maximum is nine and the lowest is one. And we do have a timer option on here, but the product is basically all ready. We're just waiting for it to actually start steaming up the product inside. So let me see if we actually open the pot right here. You can definitely see the product inside starting to boil. So I'm gonna just finish boiling first and then we'll come back and check on it when it's ready. All right, so in here that the product is actually boiling a lot now. If we open the lid, you can definitely see how it's actually boiling a lot. So you see inside right there, you can definitely start seeing some of the steam. If you see the top part right here, there's definitely a lot of steam coming out now. So you totally imagine what it actually looks like and how it actually feels when you guys are inside right there. So that way you can definitely get like a sauna experience inside. So you definitely see that there's a lot of steam that's coming out from the product inside. So basically when you got the done using the product, you can definitely take it apart and just fold it back to the original shape. It took around 10 minutes for the actual product to start boiling. But this is basically what the product looks like when you guys set it up. If you see it definitely does work. And welcome back guys. So nice little quick test of the product and definitely see that she does work and she works quite well. If you can see the whole setup process and everything didn't take that long. If you guys follow all the instructions correctly, then you should be fine. So this product is definitely very interesting the way how to design it. You basically want to put your body inside and they do have the opening for you guys to put your head out if you guys want to. And obviously you do have the option to use the remote control option to actually turn it on or turn it off. And definitely for the product it's super portable. So once you guys are done using it, you can definitely fold it back up. But definitely for the steam generator, it's safe to use. It definitely has like all the protection on here as well. But that is basically everything that's on the bar right here. Now to come boxing and test the product. Now to end the question of whether or not it's actually worth it or not. So for the bar right here, I would definitely have to say that it's pretty worth it if you got one or need one of these. Especially if you guys want to use like a sauna, but where you guys are living doesn't have one. Then definitely getting one of these is actually really worth it. But definitely one thing to remember is that when you guys use the product right here, you probably don't want to put this anywhere near like a smoke detector or smoke alarm because it definitely will go off. So definitely want to use it in a restroom or something where there's like an air vent. But then obviously for those of you guys who don't want or don't even want or having one of these, they obviously don't buy one and save money for something else actually doing it. So that's basically everything for this video itself. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button in the bottom. That would definitely help this video out. And it will definitely help with the algorithm as well to promote more videos for you guys so you guys can see more of the videos or similar videos as well. But as always, make sure to stay positive. Be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace.